We're coming to you live. Kona lagmamba pambili SABC one im Zanzi for sure. Minage gengu mangolos u kasi chongo. O one one seven one four zero double six nine. Alternatively seven one four zero six seven zero. Those are the magic studio numbers on a syntax zona. Alternatively consumer at SABC dot co dot zare email address here to leo and as a corner foot on our social media networks. Mbugeli namtlanje gesi pete utaba olu shisisa i kanda guba tenga ba ningi. Aba tipela uma sebe funa u puma guma contract to aba now e nama service provider wabo ama cell phones. Baz tolege sebe boshe lelwe nge zinye indi la guola ma contract no ma age isi kati sa leso zvume luani. Sa sfige kutineli age si fage lama specs lenda ba mbugeli. Hemburgenjobasisho <laughs> Lomtengi wa sekhauti nonga funanga kuzveza ngenga yemeko yom sebenzi wake uti wanele kukusi wanga pananga pai service provider yake neza mugu mbopele la unompelo kui contract ye phone ya itata nabo. 2019, matengi phone ya MTN under a contract. Then, bigo right go smooth, mpata. Then, 2021, ya expire a contract. Then, being a siphon contract. Then bang phone la bang inform a wuti contract me appeal. Bang convince a wuti ntati ama data na ma minutes. Ama data wako na na ma minutes kuzo wa 1800 per month. Then nga watata. Uti i contract ya iti kike na bo ibi pele luango chanyuari walo nyaka. Jenga ba tenga ba ninzi na ye wabo na ukuba atenge unomia inge contract na njengo kwa matabiso efo ni etomile. Wati kicha ya isifumelu ano esimnika ituba lo kuba asaule ista istimwe yongeza venge okwe tresha eltile. Litike la kupela itresha le kontrakti umtengi acho ukuba ufunuku ishazia na okanyu puma kuyo. Kwa inga vakali sanga mweno wakupuma kuyo inga mba nike iye iti nelo account kwi kontrakti leyo umtengi ati aipatale nyanga ne nyanga i month to month ngila semzini. Kodwa ngoku ez nyeze zingamba ni zono miyayi seze nza nalpina itinga lokuba abatengi babo peleleke kwez kontrakti no kuba umtengi selefunu puma kuyo. Jengaba ninzike lo umtengi ufumene eso uti efunu puma kwi kontrakti suka ingamba ni ivu selele enga vumanga. Jana waribe ipelelo. So wazangbang informa as usual iminyagini. By a phone, a four months before, back inform me with a contract to upgrade the contract to appeal as I am inform me then, but don't one seventy one instead of eighteen nine rand. Now you booze, but the bank check it, but you're going to contract me pay bank you're to contract me pay little million for only one three five cancel in contract. Then immediately outside, now I'm a panda, now phone, now I'm phone. Kute kusenjalo ya bei kubega yona i contract ngo kuzu lima li nyanga ne nyanga na ngo na seleva galise ukufunu puma guyo ute sa kandala zanjalo lo mtengi suga ingambani ya mvalela isimkadi yake ichola ngeliti uyajala. The following month ba didakta foot i171 ngazichela kuti minango machi ilo last month. April, kwa ngena ma minute foot, ngaba founel, ngata ibo, mina ngita i-contract ang saifu nende. Ima lese ngi ipatala, say extra. Bati gena angwazi gui kancela i-contracti, ngoba nyaba kolota. Ngata ngin kolota ganja nwa from February ngi reporti ilo guti ang saifu nende. Bati naba cheka gu system ababuni, uti gena ngi ilo nili i-contracti ntenga i-cancela. Ba, ngi 15 ba didakta, ngai ilo, Ngayi ilo, ngayi reverse. Maliam, lu 
le consultant ya khona ya phone la E173 bas putsa from one department to, uh, to other department ake ko muntu oyowa ncede uthi okwe sehla esonyuka iyokubuza kwinkampani leyo ukuba kanye kanye kwenzeka ntoni de wayokukhalaza nakwikhasi lale nkampani ku Facebook wathe njiswake ukuba ingxaki yakhe isaphandwa kodwa yabe isimkhathi yakha xhomekeke kuyo ngezinto ezibalulekileyo njenge app ze banki ivaliwe Steta Angel yango kwanda inani laba tenga baku imekwe zikumila kunje, bambi bevakali sizikalazo zabo, kumakongo ngebele luano shukeneyo, aba ninza bafunu kushangu lwa klemeko, sebete bangaje lwa nangama tebo, ati nina malungelo abandu wa baklemeko, noba tembu zanzi, hilungelo lako. Sibonge kakulu kengalo mbiku kuno batembu. Manje kembuge lukulu magabanzi kengezi nkinga za makontrakti o makale kukwini na malungelo ako wena jengo mtengi. Asamgele my lovely ladies this afternoon. Let's welcome back with us Omar Amaru, Omele Consumer Goods and Services Ombudsman. Sinayo numis Katerina Pile, yenagu kulumele East South African Communications Forum. Ladies, welcome. Good afternoon, Katerina. Welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and thank you for having us here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Hey. Maybe let's just find out a little bit. What is it that you guys do at the SA Communications Forum? South African Communications Forum is an industry association. And our primary focus is um, creating a, a relevant policy and regulatory space that is inclusive, competitive, and is capable of attracting um, investment and sustaining investment. Mm. Um, communications infrastructure is absolutely critical to the modern economy and participation in everyday life. Is this a new body, Katerina? Because we no, know there's a competition commission. How different are you guys from that body? So we're an industry association. The competition commission is a regulator. Okay. In the same vein that ICASA is. Ah, I see. Thank you for that clarity. This is Oma. When I see us, we in Zanzibar. We're consuming goods. We're going to. We're in Togas. We're going to learn local. 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 Agazang as a hambis into a gatling. Who service provides Uguangum Teto? No, Uguangum Teto, number one, e contract a fixed term. O umteng, una malungel, or we can sell beforehand. Maguba Agasaguas, Kubega and I. We are sure section fourteen were consumer yes, protection. That's act. correct. Would mm -hmm. umteng? can cancel a fixed term contract. And in this case, it's Kulumang a cell phone contract. Yeah. So began a malungelo. And secondly, if a fixed term contract, or in this case, a cell phone contract, masses of Pela, if you go expiry date, um teto uti, in the same section 14, uti, the service provider needs to notify the consumer, um tengi. It's either not more than 80 days or less than 40 days before the expiry date mm -hmm. to say, Alicia, your contract is about to end. What are your intentions? Okay. Do you want to carry on with the contract? Magube guna manya ma benefit, bak chelengala oma benefits. Or do you want to cancel? So bak mele bak communicate nawe in a form of a written way. Okay. It's either 80 days before or less than 40 days before the expiry date. Okay. So clearly, gule case le gasisi that did not happen mm, katarina what what should have happened in this instance i mean we can hear omar saying obviously the obligation also lies with the service provider but if the service provider is not doing their due diligence then the consumer actually went there and actually asked to 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 not upgrade upon uh, upon the time that her contract was coming to an end so still they still did not uh, grant her her wishes and still went above her wishes and still uh, you know extended the contract I think that it's very difficult to to respond to this case in particular yeah. because the operator would need the opportunity to to investigate to this particular complaint and mm -hmm. see what went wrong. Um, but in the ordinary course, when this happens, it's very important that consumers know how to complain cor uh, correctly because if you don't follow the appropriate process, then it's it's less likely that you'd have a proper resolution to your dispute. Prior to me working at the SACF, I'd worked at ICASA. Mm -hmm. And we dealt with consumer complaints a lot. 
And one of the things we found is very often consumers aren't aware of the proper process. So the first, your first place that you go to when something doesn't work is you go provider. to the provider. Exactly. And make sure you get a reference number. And in terms of the regulations, they have a stipulated period, which is 14 days, yeah. to resolve a complaint to your satisfaction. And most times people are happy with the resolution, but when you're not happy, then you go to ICAS as an example, mm -hmm. um, you know, to, 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 to lodge a disputed complaint. When you lodge a disputed complaint, then ICASA, in that instance, liaises with um, the operator. And usually what we found was that there was always an asymmetry of information. Both parties, for whatever reason, didn't typically have all the information. Mm. And once the information was pooled, it, there was almost always, I can't rem think of a single instance, where there wasn't a resolution to the dispute. Um, and that said, so ICASA, as the, in, the sector regulator, deals with some areas of complaints. There are other areas that fall within the, the you know, under the jurisdiction of the CPA, yeah. which would go to the NCC or, in this mm. case, the, the Consumer, consumer Goods uh, Ombud. But Katarina, look, I've, I've, I've lived this experience and I remember calling Omar when my service provider, in my case, it wasn't even, um, I didn't have to approach them and tell them that, listen, uh, my contract is coming to an end. I had already told them that, listen, when this contract comes to a close, I'm not renewing it. I'm not upgrading. I'm not doing anything. But somehow somebody went and upgraded the phone. I was paying at least a thousand rand extra. They were debiting my account. After I'd reported it to the service provider, they were still saying, no, but it's under investigation. And I said, but I was not the one who verified all these details. Give me the address of these people. And they couldn't give me those details. So I can't be sitting while my money is being deducted and waiting for the service provider to do their due diligence. And it says, oh, my, till this day, now, mind you, case, I got the resolve. I got the told my me back. We've never found out who was this person from a different address than I'd given the service provider who went and upgraded using my credentials. But that was obviously not me. Mm -hmm. So it shows, Uguti, I'm a service provider. We need to hold them on a higher regard because now, nah, Bobaya, and this never happens actually if you're upgrading your contract it only happens once you tell them listen i'm no longer interested in your products i'm just going to keep the hand device and so forth in your kubega so consumer if you a service provider who's a sender from pillar to post in you know in joy kumayo alicia is that we i need as a salila sit deny it we can't yes there's definitely a Correct. corner on the side of a service provider. Absolutely. However, to take accountability, I often say, you know, complaints are eminent. Absolutely. And it's not a bad thing for a, a company or a brand to, to have complaints against their brand. But the issue is when you receive the complaint, when what, what, what do you do about it? You know, that is very, very important. So, in Legile, I must say, Guti, from the Ombud office, since the beginning of the year to date, Slelila, mm -hmm. we have received over 700 complaints against telecommunication. Mm. So that tells you, Guti, Gunama cracks, you know? So, in Legile, again, is that when now the ombud starts to engage the service provider, are they learning from that? Mm -hmm. Because most of the complaints, Ile, Guti, my contract has expired, but they keep on debiting me, yes. you know? And I did say I do not want to continue. Mm -hmm. mm. So, Tina, we will then hold them to it to say then, because you say all your calls are recorded, can you pull the recording? Absolutely. Can't you saw record my calls? Katarina, so in this instance then, I mean... It seems uh, there's, there's a myriad of issues. What type of, of, of complaints do you then deal with specifically when it comes to communications and service providers at large? So we don't, as an industry association, deal with the complaints, yeah. but our members do. Okay. And they are bound in terms of the CPA and the, the CASA regulations. Mm -hmm. And so they have stipulated processes, and the process typically is if you have an issue, um, you, you contact the service provider, you, you lodge a complaint, mm -hmm. you, you get a reference number. You always make sure you get a reference number because it makes it easier to track the call. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I know that, you know, sometimes 
things do fall between the cracks, but you must make sure that you you ask for for the um, the reference for the number. reference yeah. and that said when you look at the number of subscribers that there are in this country in relation to the number of complaints it is relatively low it's not a perfect system i'm not yeah. going to say it is yeah and so you are going to have instances where something goes wrong but in almost all instances like i said when i worked at the regulator mm -hmm. um you always saw operators always trying to resolve the complaint so if there's an outstanding complaint or something like that I, my advice to a consumer would be you lodge a complaint, make sure you get the reference number, and if it's not resolved, then you contact a CASA mm -hmm. and you say, this is my complaint, this is the reference number. And, and keep all the communication between yes. so that you've also got that as proof to say, look, it wasn't resolved at this stage, this is why I'm bringing it here now. Yes. All right, Katerina, hold it there. I'm going to sure. have to take a, a quick ad break. In Bugeli, I'm going to come back with more on Uguti. Easy P. E. King is Langan and Nazo. Umas is told Uguti Pelasas cancel. I'm a contract with Oma Kaleko Queen. You don't get a lack of back shortly after this. Hey, Welcome back in Zingoga Manja. Thank you, Zivuli Lazonka. Oh, one one seven one four zero double six nine. Alternatively, seven one four zero six seven zero. Consumer at SABC. Co. Zare. We must follow footing on our social media networks. It's Nosis Omar Amaru of Ela Consumer Goods and Services Ombuds, as well as Miss Katarina Pile of Ela South African Communications Forum. Se kuluma gembugeli ngoguts ink inga. Oshanga bezana nazo. Uma usutu we na ufunu upgrade. No ma ufunu renewi contract yako ne service provider. Let's go to Izingoge Manja. We've got Unewa all the way from Pretoria. But now, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Okay, But about the now, Emma Pill and Ecopa, who see the numbers are how lady producer because Ukarita by how it all but the the details it's editing when eh? Mara, we're gonna try and work with what you've given us here, uh, co 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 studio. So, uh, uh, Ralebo Hanepap. So, says Oma, we are most put now who see Utole e contract like a separate contract in Jebizum Sendela e data. Uh, Wabachaluguts, it's not gonna be Izuwa's Wutis Sebens in it because I think Walla Legelo iPhone and Janjan. So, into that's why it's actually number. 
so that if mm. ever you need more details. But mm. what do you think could have happened in this instance? More casing ya abuti neo kibono kari more service provider. Yeah. Okay. Because he was very clear hey. So keeping on sending the data and then Bansi Bamu charge. Hey. Almost 15,000 men. So which are Ghana reporter. His uh, report as any capture. Mm. So we need to investigate. Mm. Did they or did not they not receive Kolia Abdineo citing Hori Wa Kansela contract Kalibakala Hori the phone? And mm. then them sending him data. It doesn't serve any purpose. Yes. Because phone mm. data. So Casey and Tatano the guy investigator. All right. Mm. So Tatano, like I said, I, I hope we see the numbers at the house so that battle hona who investigator. Now Mbugel Mangabusen and King and Jaru, please so shall nazi easy nombolo lapo e on screen. So now let's let's talk about this, um uh, Katarina. Maybe explain to us the process then of being debited on a month-to-month -month basis when your contract has expired afterwards. This is absolutely not legal, can it be? <laughs> Actually, so you enter into a contract. The yes. CPA provides for contracts being, uh, you know, uh, having a limit of 24 months. Yes. Thereafter, if you haven't cancelled um, your contract, you've given your, subscri your operator app or service provider no indication that you want to terminate the contract, then you go on a month-to-month -month contract. Okay. And for lazy customers, most lazy customers don't terminate, so you go on to a month-to-month. -month. The reason for that is simply that you have a seamless service. And when you want to terminate that month-to-month -month contract, you're required to give the, your service provider 20 days notice, notice yeah. to, of termination. Okay. So, so it is legal to continue on a month to month. No, but Katrina, Oma was saying just earlier on that it is also the onus of the service provider to notify you either 60 or 40 days before your contract expires mm -hmm. to find out what your intentions are mm -hmm. upon the, 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 the time of the, the, the resolution of the contract. They do, and they do it so religiously no, but to you, ask you, do you want to upgrade? <laughs> do you want to cancel? What do you want to do? So like we said earlier, you are going to have slips in the mm. system. You're going to have that. On both sides, the consumers. I'm not saying consumers no, no. are right, Katerina. I'm saying they also need to be proactive in ensuring that they phone their service providers and tell them their intentions at the end of their contract. Practically, we have lazy consumers. That's not going to happen. <laughs> mm. So that is why you have the provision that your contract doesn't come to a hard stop at the end of the contract period. Okay. Can you imagine if I'm a lazy consumer and my contract is for 24 months, and I do nothing, and then I'd, it would be a hard stop and I'd have no service. Absolutely, so, you're gonna learn to be a proactive consumer. That's what we're trying to but promote, we have to Katerina. cater for reality. <laughs> and that is why you switch to a month to month. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you can't cancel after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can cancel with 20, with 20 days notice. But then Katerina, I wanna understand, in the contract that I'm given by the service provider, is there a clause that says, stipulates, that should I not then inform the service provider of my intentions at the end of this contract, then they'll automatically put me on a month to month. And is this then explained to the consumer when they acquire the contract? Do we read our contracts? Well, do the, do the service providers explain the contracts? I know in my experience. We don't read lots of contracts. <laughs> so you see, that's, that's the challenge that, that I know exists. And is, is that clause there? In, yes. most, in most contracts, Katarina? Yes. Okay. As far as I'm aware. Okay. Um, the, the reality is contracts are aligned to the CPA, and there was okay. a huge drive before the CPA was implemented where operators made sure that their contracts were aligned to the regulations. Mm. Um, because it's not in their interest not to... to oh, it's not in their interest to be non-compliant. The reality is... We, we get very excited when there's an upgrade due I was about and to a sexy say, phone. I was about and then we to want say. the phone and we forget everything else okay. that comes with that. You know, so as okay. a consumer, as much as we have, you know, there are obligations on the service provider, we also have an obligation to make sure that we read the contract 
We know the terms and conditions because you can, you can terminate a contract at any point. Listen, Katarina, I'm going to tell you stories about those terms and conditions and what happens when we are buying and we're literally just signing things off. We're back shortly after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> We're going to 0117140670, alternatively 7140699. You can also email us your views and thoughts to consumer at sabc.co.za. This is Omar Amaru of the Consumer Goods and Services Ombuds Office, as well as Omis Katarina Pileo Villa, ASA Communications Forum. We're going to talk about the contract. We're going to talk about the contract. We're service providers. We're going to talk about the contract. We're going to talk about the contract. We're going to talk about the contract. We're going to talk about the so let's let's talk about this um penalties eh eh let's say they are now cancelling a contract before the actual agreed upon date according to a Consumer Protection Act. Yeah, ugu yangu mteto, abatengi, they need to understand uguti, uh, as much as umteto ubanigeza a provision to cancel a fixed-term contract. Yeah. And remember, before Consumer Protection Act, you wouldn't cancel a fixed-term contract. Yeah. But uh, we are grateful, Guti, if Consumer Protection Act brought that relief to say, Magube, because life happens, yes. do happen. Ausa pumeleli, then you can cancel. But then the same Section 14, it states Uguti, then OE service provider can then raise cancellation fee, you know, when you are cancelling prior to the expiry date mm -hmm. as a consumer. Then the service provider can then raise cancellation fee. Now the challenge is, uh, Alicia Nabateng, Uguti, what is that, the percentage of the cancellation fee? Absolutely. Because the law only says the cancellation fee has to be reasonable. And it's yeah. it doesn't give you it a doesn't give you a figure, yes. So now the challenge is what is fair and reasonable? Because the law talks about fair and reasonable cancellation. And fair and fee. reasonable to who? The service provider or me, the consumer. But then let me let me explain <laughs> this to you as a consumer. Because um teto uti, when you cancel, then the service provider in a Gwenzeli e cancellation fee as a frustrator to be unable to get out of that contract. Mm. So now, what the service providers are doing, Mauti, when you are, you, you were committed to a 24 months contract, now after a year, you want to cancel because life do happen. Yes. And then, Bati, your cancellation fee will be your remaining month of the contract. That is your settlement amount. Mm. Mm. In mm. that regard, that means they are frustrating you how are you going to go out? Because you are going out because you are unable to pay the remaining. Exactly. Manje Masabati, your cancellation fee will be your remaining month installment. That is frustrating you. The That's basic. where we come in mm, as the ombud. Okay. To come and understand, Uguti, how are you making things easy for the consumer to cancel if you are now saying the cancellation fee is equal to the mm. remaining balance? And I month. also think, this, oh my, there needs to be relevant reasons there. You can't just also go as a consumer, take a contract, because we don't also want to encourage people, also, Katerina, to just go open uh, contracts and then decide somewhere down the line, ah, you know what, um, I found something better somewhere else. Let mm. me go and cancel this contract. So there also needs to be specific, proper reasons that, you know what, I cannot afford uh, to mm. pay for this contract or whatever reason. So you can't just go willy-nilly, ubache to cancel a contract. This is Obuela Gionis, is Omar Wilson in Johannesburg. Thank you so much for joining us and staying on the line. How can we assist you today? Wilson? Wilson, hello. Wilson, please turn your TV set down. 
All right, we're going to move on because oh, Wilson, I think also speaking in Apac TV, you can still call us in studio 0117140670, alternatively 7140669. Okay, so uh, Katarina, we were talking before the ad break that yes, people get excited whenever they're signing their contracts and so forth, but you were putting across this point, which I've been saying with Oma, we've been pushing this narrative for the past 10 years. People must read their contracts, ask for their contracts to be given in their language of preference or of choice and as you also just said now you can insist for the service provider or the consultant there to basically tell you what this whole contract is about and also send you a copy but people are not going to do that because hey they put the handset there to make you excited the other one is putting the sim card there that you know you're getting excited you're no longer thinking about the fundamentals there so how can you advise consumers to be you know to be precise in that in that moment of excitement the reality is you get excited <laughs> about any of these things. If yeah. you're buying a car, a house, whatever, you have to read the contract. because, And you have to know what's in the contract. Yes. Because if you don't know about it up front, it becomes quite difficult when you discover later on if you want to terminate your contract or what the grounds are for termination of the contract. So it's very important that you know up front. And one of the things that the CPA brought in is that... Contracts are written in a way that is understandable. It's in simple English. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it is, it is voluminous, but at the same time, you are able to, you know, you are able to get the information. You can ask the call center agent as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really the best way to arm yourself and not just be simply excited about the new device mm. because... You know, when you go back to the fair and reasonable uh, cancellation fee, it's broken down. So they don't just give you a global figure and say that's what it is. Yeah. But, for example, you enter into a new contract. Say, for example, you've taken a 24-month contract and you've taken the contract not just for, for minutes or data, you've taken it for a handset as well. So when you terminate, you have to address the issue of Am I going to keep the device? Am I not mm. going to keep the device? If I'm keeping the device, clearly you're going to, you know, what, uh, you're going to have to pay the outstanding amount on the device. And that, in the, it, had you stuck to the 24-month contract, would have been split over 24 oh. months. But if, for example, you want to terminate, say, for example, in month six, and you want to keep the device, but you ha there's, an, there's an amount that you have to settle that would have been spread over 18 months. You okay, know. Yeah. So there are things like that that also have to be considered. And it's in the contract, you it say, is. Katerina. All right, to forget. I as Tatsanigi Kefu get or Ungastin Dalai Studio. We're coming back. We're still discussing uh, challenges around Masufunu Terminator, a cell phone contract here on a service provider. So Tola Big Taleli Malonga Zange Utu when we we are agreeing to buy Tati. Kuben Janezing is in day pities that I caught the bottom line. Bajala. It packets it like a woman, but I'm careful right now. Okay, welcome back. 011-714-0669. Noma 011-714-0670. My guest today, the lovely lady, this is Omar Amaro of uh, the Consumer Goods and Services Ombuds Office alongside Ms. Katarina Pele from the SA Communications Forum. To try and assist you uh, with those, cha those challenges that you face whenever uh, you're going to terminate your contract with your service provider. We're speaking specifically about AMA service providers and AMA self phones. All right, let's go back to the lines and we have Abraham on the line. Abraham, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon and staying on the line. Please tell us where you're from and go ahead with uh, your, uh, of course, uh, what is it? What, what, what do you want to tell us today? How can we assist you? Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, my name is Abraham. I'm calling from Cape Town. Thank you, Abraham. Um, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. I had I had um, a contract with a big uh, provider, a service provider. Yes. Which is my contract was for twenty four months. Okay. So my minimum, my 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 my, my payments was about two hundred and seventy rand per month. Okay. And my contract was supposed to be expired in twenty nineteen October. Mm-hmm. 
And then in September in 2019, we lost our jobs because of the COVID. Okay. And then I did went to the shop and go let them know that um, we've lost our, our jobs. And then I gave them the letter that is like a retrenchment letter. Mm -hmm. And they gave me the number so that I can call back to the head office. And I did call to the head office, and then they said to me, I must make an affidavit and then email it back to them. Mm -hmm. And I did that, and then after that, now they said to me, if I need to cancel my contract, I need to pay 7800 mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, and, then I, and then I said to them, but I don't have 7800 because I've lost my job. Mm. Abraham, so let me how just... Can, how so can I resolve this? Yes, Abraham, sorry, just how long there, maybe in months, uh, uh, how long did you have before the contract was over? Um, I, I, I informed them immediately when we received the letters from work that okay. we had been retrenched. All right. And then after, after I received my letter from work, because it was a walking distance from my work to, to, the, to, the, to the service provider's yeah. uh, shop, then I took the letter from work and then I, I went to them and then I let them know and they said to me, okay, fine, this is the number that you have to call. Okay. And I, I called to this number, which is the head office. And the person who was speaking to me at the head office said to me, um, I'll send you an email so that you can email us with an affidavit. Okay. The letter that you get from work. And I did email that with an affidavit, with a proof of everything which is they were looking for. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately now... When they called me back, they said to me, what do I want? I said, no, I want to cancel the contract because I won't be able to make payments because yeah. I've lost my job. Mm -hmm. Then they said to me, if I need to cancel my contract because it's only two months left, because I was in the middle of the third month, okay. and if I have to cancel my contract, I have to pay them 7800 Wow. Okay. And then, and then what, I, what then, happened in the end, Abraham? Did they still go on deducting you? Like, what happened? They uh, they they stopped deducting and then but now they put they putting lawyers behind me. They said I owe them thirty seven thousand nine hundred. Oh, I see. All right, thank you yeah. so much, Abram. Thank you so so much. Please keep keep listening there for uh, some sort of resolution, uh, Katerina. Any advice for Abram? If I were him, I would call his service provider, log his complaint, get a reference number, and. I'm pretty sure they'd, they'd assist if they are unable or do not assist within the 14 days, then I would refer to ICASA, mm -hmm. and ICASA will certainly assist. Okay, but it's almost like the people who are talking about the people who are talking about the people who are talking about the people who um, the six and two months we contract here, so but imagine if I can't say, uh, I mean, this is a proactive consumer. Mm. As soon as he heard, mm. Uti, there's going to be retrenchments, mm. of which is what we encourage the rest of consumers to do. The minute you smell an issue or mm. a problem, go and report it. So, Uhambilo reports, Abam Chaluguti Bafuna, and he provided them with everything, but then they still say, with two months left, sis Oma, mm. on this contract, Bafuna lo 7,800. Alicia Nabalaleli, he linking a BC Kuluma area, yes. Mastala conversation, Uguti. What is fair, fair. and reasonable, mm. you know? So it's debatable in the Bagaput Abraham. Mm -hmm. So we need to zoom into it. Uguti, why is that? Because the law is very clear. Uguti, Maba, Maba raise a cancellation fee as the service provider. It needs to only take into consideration what he has already enjoyed Absolutely. in terms of the device and the data. But they cannot raise a cancellation fee based on the future installments. Oh, I'm a projection swab or I'm a profit. In the, even in the you know? cases, oh my, like mm. 7,800 with two months, months left, left on yes. a contract that you were paying 270 rand for is still way too yeah. exorbitant. Yeah. So can you, are you able to then, as the locals and the consumer goods, assist to Yeah, we Abraham? can look into that and mediate the okay. matter so with the service provider. So how can he provider. get in, co in contact with you guys? Upu, okay, Abraham. he can call us on our call center number, which is 86 272 or he can lodge a complaint via our website, which is www.cgso.org.za. Call center number is 86 00 272. Website www.cgso.org. 
www.ecofinance.za. Aha. Abraham, you can contact those numbers uh, so they can try definitely assist you there. Mbogele asitate elingi kefu. Sitati kefu loko trina manje ngezu utiskati se amba kakuli ngati nani. Zisei ningi zintekmelese yukule ume mfonele ni after lelili kefu nga indaw. Okay, welcome back to our final segment. Let me take Usis Caroline, SOH Usis Caroline, Sagomgel and Togas, the old Tel when Umbuzo no Mumbon. Eh, Umbuzo, Sinti. Eh, Umbuzo, Sandersam. Eh, being in a contrast, yes. So, what he contrasts, Mazo Pella, I call them, you will have with to establish their contract more and suffer the contract. Okay. But in me, but I let two thousand and fifty eight rand. Okay. Which my father, I'm not in a couple of payments. Okay. It was two thousand and eighteen. Okay. So last year, before we have any bank, but the but she never used service provider. They owe I owe them three hundred rand. Three hundred rand. Ni tiga njia ni mwa i contract ni kanzo ni zetu, eni ni namba ya abazang ba kumu bumi pa i namba dek, baadhi anjeri ni chole le namba because anisema contract, and then by recycling ni ni tiga njia ni mwa i dozen ebi ni ni tibu yao namba le, ba ya lo, mano kubat kubega ba ba pao na baadhi imalifu kupuzi le abo six hundred, ni na ngazi mbobo, anjeri ni pata le le mali, mwa. Ne statement na ma approval payment dozen dollars. Ama tinda kwa nini na? Obutu ni patalogo pi na na email la ba ni na wacha la onkele. Okay, sis Caroline. Okay, so ukuna wenzanjani gento gas na bonsa nsa isana le na le na manj. No, abaza kwa ni wapa ni chuo ni hadi sabo omans pat le le kids. Oh, and then he stopped calling me. But what about it do? Okay, yeah. so oh, my, I suppose very similar to Ikeisi to your color where um, this one she 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 really asked for Ruguti the contract must be uh, uh, must be terminated. She asked for the amount. She settled the amount, and then last year she gets some people from out of the blue telling her that she still owes money, and it was three hundred rand, and it's growing by the day, by the way, even though she's got full proof and and, and references of. Uh, having settled the previous mm. contract. So, mm. even though you've settled your debt, you've mm. indicated that you want to terminate your contract, mm. and you've also settled the amount. Most of the time, I'm a case and jealousy, I was told Alicia Ombudsman, and Masi look into those cases. See, I want to say, I'm a matters are settled away a while ago, mm -hmm. over three years yes. back. So but these then, are expired days. Yeah, Guba Nabanya Bantu Abatenga that book, Uguti Manje Barize, Uguti Bayan Fonella Nia Colota. So I really uh, hope Uguti Umama Magati, Ubachel Ugutu Isago Ombudsman, then Ba Pedla back, Uifagili complaints, mm. because that wouldn't stop them to give her a negative. A credit profile, mm. you know, mm. so mm. she must be very a uh, step ahead. Good, I let then see mediator in Metayake. Moba, Maba Libelebati, Ipalancia Kupuga. That can also affect her credit record. This is crazy, though, Katerina, that you find people that are actually buying uh, uh, names of people that are still owing mm. creditors of prescribed debts and literally selling it to new individuals to collect that debt. And I don't think many South Africans, I know it's an unrelated topic, but maybe just have a quick word on this one. Like, what should people look out for, particularly when it pertains to prescribed debts? Oh, that's a tricky one. Yeah. Um, but I think when it comes to when you talk about mobiles and yeah. and, and all, every, all my commentary was you know related not not specifically to mobiles but all telcos it would be the same it would be exactly the same process. Yeah. And what you would need to do when somebody contacts you like that and you have all the documents that demonstrate payment of the debt, then I think you need to contact your service provider. You need to get a reference number if it's not resolved because it's not in their interest mm. to make sure that you're blacklisted because that's not what they want to do. And they can assist you in, in addressing that and providing the necessary information okay. to the credit bureaus if there's 
there's no debt. All right, in the best interest that you're not blacklisted. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Katerina. <laughs> I'll keep it there for now. This is Omar. I understand you've got great progressive news. Apparently, uh, you guys are launching an app uh, next week that is to try and fast track Ama complaints. Nezintoleza Skulumangazo Namplan. Tell us all about it, Togas. Absolutely. Yes, We're am excited. I coming? Are we coming? Yes, yes, you are invited. On the 23rd of May, we are launching the complaints app, mobile complaints app. Okay. We thought let us be relevant and move with times. Of course. Fourth industrial revolution. Become digital. So that, yes, consumers are able to lodge complaints from the palm of their hands. Okay. So the mobile app is available on Android and iOS. So the app will help the consumers to lodge a complaint to the ombudsman to track their complaints, the status of the complaint and also to know any information around their complaint. So we are on, very on excited. On the cell phone? On the cell phone, without picking up the phone and calling us and waiting on the queue for the agents to assist you, you can do that on the mobile app. And hopefully we're not going to hear the app shut down. It's too much traffic, teething problems. It's okay, let's we, <laughs> we have done those <laughs> the exercises, and we are confident, and we are ready. But what determined this? Like, besides what's in Funuguba Digital, na 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 in with the time says Omar, is it also the volume of our complaints abandoned that cannot lodge by walking into your offices? As well, they can't have access to our offices when directly. Precisely, mm. uh, those are the factors around us saying, Can we go digital? Okay. Can we help consumers so they can lodge a complaint from the comfort of their own home? Okay, so those are the factors that informed us developing this app oh, to right. the availability of consumers. Thank you so much ladies i'm gonna to have to leave it there katerina i hope next time also when you're launching something like this that is going to be swift and not just relying on people to be proactive on both ends you're gonna come back and tell us all the good news ladies thank you so so much for your invaluable input this afternoon that was also omar amaru of the consumer goods and services ombuds office alongside the lovely miss katerina pillay from the sa communications forum ladies thank you so so much Catch us next week for another live consumer affairs topic. La Posobes Kulumange COVID relief grants. Uguti easy p is in king. Otlanga bezana nazo uma wena usainele e granti utoluguti to our qualify. Catch it all on eating a lako next week. Konala, Mamba Pambile se bisu one mzanzo for shoga. Chalum tanuti unsanda no gemakan. Sarigash.